el chisme. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Cheese Report. I'm your host, Danny Flores. Que con todos ustedes. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about another influencer on Facebook by the name of Tati's Beauty Pro. If you guys don't know who she is, well, maybe when I show you a picture and talk about it, you guys will remember. But let me tell you, the first video I saw on her, uh, I knew something was wrong. There was some issue wrong with her. But as always, guys, before we get into it, go get your snacks, come back, sit back and relax. So we're going to be speaking on the bizarre life of Tati's Beauty. Her name is actually Tatiana Alvarez, uh, but she goes by Tati's Beauty Pro on Facebook and uh, all social media. She was born in Costa Rica, but she resides in Fontana, California. Tatiana's married with four kids. And she's a regular, you know, Facebook influencer, you know, doing makeup on live. She started, you know, all happy, all giggly. And, you know, things were going good for her. It's live. Vengo a platicar con ustedes, chicas. Porque vengo a platicar de esta rutina de panzu. But then things quickly came down. Esos comentarios, chicas. Ay, me está picando aquí. Déjenme meto todo esto. let me tell you guys she might have one of the loyalist fan base on facebook because apparently allegedly she was getting donations from her fans to get this surgery that she got which i'm pretty sure it was like a tummy tuck a butt lift i don't know bbl i don't know but the point is she got money from her fans and you know got surgery i don't know if she put some money towards you know the donations or something like that but you know she received money from her fans and got her surgery that the surgery she wanted but like i mentioned she was doing really good she started well but you know her fans are speculating or are saying that after her fourth kid things went downhill really fast guys because if you guys don't know Tatiana actually, you know, goes on live and her lives are like almost always crying. There's something, you know, her mental health is not all there. No, chica. Ya no sé ni qué pensar, chicas. So you know how the internet works. If they see something wrong with someone, they're going to, you know, show it on TikTok, basically. So they showed videos on TikTok. The TikTok went viral. One of the TikToks were, you know, her trying to, you know, put on clothes. But at the same time, she had, she had these long nails that, you know, couldn't let her put these clothes, right? So she literally ripped out her nails one by one, guys. And let me tell you, I don't wear nails, but I know this shit hurts. I know taking off nails hurt. <laughs> Me arranco cada una de estas uñas, chicas. Es como vieron, no las aguanto, no las soporto. Ya quiero decirles, vete para allá, no te aguanto. Uy, uy, uy. Prefiero que mi esposo me vea sin uñas a que me vea con uñas y con... And apparently the next day after that live, after that video, she got nails done again. I'm like, bro, if the nails didn't let you do shit, why are you going to go back to your nail tech and get more nails but this wasn't the only time something like this happened like i mentioned she does go on live and cries very often but the thing about tatiana is she has over 3.7 million followers and she gets a lot of views guys like i'm saying over 5 million views on her lives i don't know how maybe you know there's thirsty men out there because her thumbnails are literally you know just her on in her underwear and a bra that's pretty much it I'm, i don't know i'm just speculating that you know sick people out there trying to see something else but she gets a lot of views and yo She's doing really good for herself, but at the same time, her mental health is not there. But going back to TikToks, there's like accounts, you know, dedicated to her talking trash. And this is not helping her mental health, guys. And Tatiana is not a person to just stay quiet and let you run your mouth. No, she sees a comment. She's going to let you know. But listen, I'm going to be honest. I do think there is something wrong with Tatiana. Like she has mental issues and I do think she should seek help. But 
also bashing her on the internet like people are doing people were doing i'm pretty sure they're still doing it now is not going to help her situation she's seeing this on a daily basis and a lot of her fan base are saying tatiana go seek help you it looks like you need help and tatiana is seeing this as you know the fan base is bullying her but no we want her to get help and the 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 iffy part of this whole situation might be her husband just because you know a spouse you know if you see your other spouse getting you know not all there having mental issues aren't you gonna go seek help for them yeah right that's obvious but her husband seems to be like yo tatiana's fine you guys are just speculating something that's not there and i'm like no bro like you see the lives your wife is not okay tatiana pupa ayuda tatiana pupa ayuda no tatiana está perfectamente bien lo el único problema es cuando empiezan a hacer especulaciones de estos videos es una falta de respeto There's theories out there about her husband that you know I'm, i'm saying this is a theory i'm not saying it's coming from me it's coming from the fan base it's coming from people out there saying that you know tatiana's husband might be gay and is just with tatiana for the money because like i said she gains a lot of money guys her lives are over five million views imagine that money imagine that income y'all Remember how I told you guys that Tatiana does not stay quiet whatsoever? Well, here's a clip where she goes off to one of her fans or fans. Quiere criticar que tengo costra blanca en la lengua? Yo soy de piel blanca y de papá negro. ¿Qué anda criticando? Mi, mi lengua blanca. ¿Qué está haciendo? ¿El racismo? Déjela bloqueo. Hasta ya me quieren venir con eso. Está blanca tu, tu lengua. Sí, racista. También soy blanca de piel. Y negra también. Ya me voy, chicas, porque ya me dio coraje. Ya me dio mucho pinche coraje que me quisieras hacer sentir mal por el, por el, por el color de mi... ¡Ay! You're nothing. You're trash. That's who you are. Shame on you. You me dio coraje, chicas. You want to say something about it? You want to say something? Say it in person to see what it happens. You're going to get slapped. That's what you're going to get for talking about my skin color. I know I have freckles, I know. I have a white thong, white skin, and my dad is black. Edúquese, edúquese. Antes de que venga alguien de verdad, de, de como mi papá, y te diga tus verdades. Critícame mi color de piel, critícame mis pecas, critícame mi cola, critícame todo. Que de aquí ya no pasas. Porque cuando vayas allá afuera y critiques de verdad, te van a dar una cachetada y no vas a poder hacer nada. Pero una cachetada de no de novela, de la vida real, así de... Que fuiste tú como, como persona en el internet tirando odio, ahí poniendo comentarios. Me llegaste, realmente te metiste debajo de mi piel para hacerme sentir mal de algo que ya yo no puedo cambiar. Algo que ya yo no puedo hacer nada. Mis pecas no me las puedo quitar. Por más que he querido a los 12 años, no puedo, chicas. Simplemente no. No puedo. Yo también le decía, yo le decía a mis familiares que crema me puedo poner para verme como tú. Yo no quiero pecas. I say this all the time. Influencers are regular people. They have feelings as well as, you know, you watching me, me, I have feelings. People get on Tatiana's case because they think they could help her in a sort of way. And I know, I know there's some people out there saying, yo, I'm all about mental health, blah, blah, blah. But when it comes to actually seeing people online having a breakdown, what do they say oh this girl is crazy what the hell is wrong with her she's crying so much guys no like men this is a mental health issue like she's going through it it's just on camera it's i strongly feel that maybe tatiana should take a rest uh, from social media she shouldn't let these um you know people dictate her life because that's what they're doing they're getting under her skin and it's just making her worse there's even a live where tatiana is harming herself hitting herself real hard guys and this is not what a normal person does um yeah she's just there hitting herself real real hard <laughs> Si tuviera agua aquí, me haría sal. Sal, que eso es lo que... ¡Pues sé! ¡Pues sé! ¡Pues sé! ¡Pues sé!
There was also a petition to cancel Tatiana for actually having, you know, self-harm videos, sexual and racial content. That petition had over 20,000 signs, but I don't think, you know, Facebook did anything about it. And guys, let me be honest. If this was a case, if Facebook actually, you know, demonetized, took her page down, imagine how Tatiana's mental health would be. It would get worse because that's her income, guys. That's something, you know, she needs to feed her kids, pay bills. Imagine how worse her mental health will get. Just put that in your head, guys. I know you guys are trying to seek help for her. But at the same time, I don't know if this is the right thing. I do want to, like, I do tend to blame the husband because he is seeing everything unfold. Everything unfold and he's not trying to do anything. He's saying, no, you guys are just speculating. You guys are stupid. She's totally fine. But, bro, are you serious? We're seeing all the lives here. Like, this is not normal. This whole situation is also sad because, like I said, she has four kids. Kids are also seeing this unfold on live, behind the cameras, at home. It doesn't matter. They're seeing this. They're seeing that their mom is not okay. But like I said, I tend to, you know, blame the husband in this situation because he's the one. He's an adult. He's the one. It literally says in the name husband, Um, you should... Take care of your spouse, bro. Go find her some help because in all reality, she does not seem fine whatsoever. If you guys do watch her, if you guys did watch her, let me know your opinions, comments, concerns down below. Like I said, my biggest concern is for the kids and, you know, I, I would hate them to see this whole thing turn to worse, guys. Because that's what's going to happen if the stupid husband doesn't seek help for her. I don't know what could happen in this situation. But let me know your comments, concerns down below. But other than that, this is going to be the end of the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. My name is Danny and I'm out. Peace.